hello guys in this video I'm going to discuss how we can implement logout API in ASP.NET Core 3.1 so there are four steps to do that here you can see I have opened a notepad here and we are going to follow all these four steps okay but before proceeding the to the creating the logout API I would request you to subscribe my channel first if you have not subscribed yet to I'll keep updated keep updated like to get the latest videos whatever I will upload in future okay so so here you can see there are four steps okay so the first step which I am going to follow is like here initialize sign in manager right so we need to initialize the sign in uh, sign in manager in the constructor so let me copy this line I have already written the line what to, I need to add here okay so I have just copied and let me go ahead and let me paste it here okay so I have added sign in manager here and again I also need to add the same thing here okay so let me again just initialize it in the constructor so you can see now we are getting the intelligence so just follow here and add sign in and you can see it is automatically like uh, giving us the sessions for creating the variable name so I have just created that and the same thing I will also add here and one more thing what I need to add here in the sign in manager is the identity user okay okay and the same thing I need to add here as well sign in manager okay and I need to remove it from here because I have already added the comma okay and now so I uh, hope we have completed the first step so now let's move to the second step here okay so that second step is like I need to add sign in in the login method okay so I have already written the code here and I will explain it what it will do okay so just let me go ahead here in the login not this one yes this is the login action method okay so here you can see we are verifying the user from our database and let me also do this thing let paste it here so what it will do it will also like do the all the internal process of sign in using the sign in manager in implemented method it is the method of identity basically it is from the identity server okay microsoft identity server and here this is like each persistent so you can see this field is each persistent basically so i have set it let me set it false so you can see this field is kind of boolean type here you can see this is pers persistent bool type so it, it it is basically what if i will make it true okay so the, it, it is for remembering the uh, like sign in credential for the server okay but i need not to do that right now okay it is basically for the remember me functionality if like someone checks in or passes it as true then it will be considered either member me functionality and the signed in user will be kept kept in the cookie right till the user like logs out from the server okay so now uh, we have added this code here okay the third step is like you can see here we need to add sign in in refresh to connection method so let me again copy this same method so this you can see these are using the sign in manager okay and now i need to go to refresh token 
method action method so here it is so once i after the validation of refresh token here we will call the sign in okay okay so after sign in it will generate the access token and then it will return to the uh, user the res response will be returned to the to the user so here it is what it this line will also do the same if we are using the sign in manager what we initialize initially in the constructor okay and this is the method of sign in manager which is basically doing the sign in just after taking the user credential this is for the refresh token sign in okay and in the same way we need to create this the last main method which is the action method of refresh token so we will add it in the last so let me go ahead here and in the last you can see i am going to do that right here okay so here it is we have passed it as logout this is a post type method and it is basically an authorized method because what we have done we have applied the authorized at the control level okay so that means each and every api is authorized in like each and every action method is authorized until we do not set it as allow anonymous like suppose the refresh token should be allow anonymous so we have passed it here allow anonymous okay in the same way registration api should be allow anonymous okay anyone can access so therefore we have applied the attribute over there allow anonymous so here you can see here we are doing the sign out we are calling the sign out method okay which is defined in the sign in manager okay and it will do like it will clear all the cookies and the identity server data everything it will clear from the server for the user okay and then we are going to respond to return this response saying out success okay so now let's let me run the project here okay So here you can see our application is running now. So now let me go ahead and I have opened the postman and now let me log in. Okay. So this is the user which what we had already created. Okay. So I have just clicked on send button and now it is doing the internal functionality of sign in. Okay. So it will sign in. Okay. Let's wait. Okay, so you can see here we have got the refresh token. Okay, so now let me copy this. Okay, and let me go ahead in the weather forecast. Okay, so basically we are doing like we have done the coding of implementation. So we are still again, you can see we are able to do the things very very well and also let me use the logout and currently you can see this is the old token here so this you can see this is unauthorized so once i will pass the latest token okay then we will be able to call the api so you can see now we got the success response of the api so in this way like this you can implement the logout functionality in your application so this video series was basically the the next app, uh, next chapter of the web api tutorial in sp.net core and this is the chapter 9 okay so that's all in this chapter or the video thank you guys thanks for watching okay and don't forget to subscribe the channel thank you